good evening, everybody. Thank you for subscribing. Leafs fan Chris, I appreciate that. Um, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Um, I'm in a, I'm in a slightly new setup. I'm on I'm on like a stool. I'm looking at a different camera. Uh, the mic, the screen. Hold on, let me move the screen a little up because when I look down at the screen now, I'm like looking, I'm like looking down, and it doesn't really look accurate. And when I look over here at the uh, at the PS4 screen, it's like over there. You know, I gotta get I gotta get used to everything. It's it's a little different. And then when I go to the if I go to the small view. Oh, what is that? Atlanta. Whoa. We'll get to that in a second. And I go to the small view. It's just kind of my head now. It's, it's not really the rest of my body. All right. All right. So we're going to hop right into this. One, you know what this is. This is our NHL 22 franchise mode stream. See, I can't, I can't like look here at the screen at the comments and then up here at the camera. It's like. They're, they need to be closer together. They need to get closer. So we'll fix that, crap people. Crap people. Crap people. So what's happening here is this is one since 67. Our quest to win one Stanley Cup for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And Toronto is a key thing here. Uh, for the Toronto Maple Leafs, we want to win one Stanley Cup. And we've we've been very successful in our journey so far. We've won a President's Trophy for the first time last season. We finished second in the league four consecutive years. We've won a, a crap load of divisions. I think five straight division championships, six straight maybe. It's been it's been crazy. It's been a great run. Our team is really good. I'll give you a rundown of what our team looks like right now, actually. Um, just to everybody catch you up and like our our team and what we've been building. So we're heading into the offseason. So Matthew Kachuk is going to be gone. He's a UFA. We're not going to resign him. We don't need him. We got Austin Matthews, Adam Fox, Alex Turcott, Dylan Genther, Morgan Riley, Donovan Patan, Rasmus Sandin, Pavel Shishkanov, Brant Clark, William Nylander, Kurashev. Orb, Walensky, Matthew Joseph, just studs up and down the lineup. And one thing we've been able to do is draft really well and steal other people's draft picks. So we've been able to manage the cap very nicely with a bunch of young talent who is very good on cheap deals, plus our mix of all-star caliber franchise players. We've done a great job building a franchise. Here's our goaltending situation. Hugo and Kevin Hawes. Kyle Hawes. I had to double check to make sure that's correct. Kyle Hawes and Hugo. They've been fantastic. And in our system, we have the future start starting goaltender of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mr. Nicholas Berglund, who is an elite potential. 84 overall. He's only going to get better. And hopefully next year we run with Berglund and I guess we could do Berglund and Ha. No, we'll do Berglund and in Hugo and we'll trade Haas for nice pieces. Hopefully move up in the draft. But before we get into that, one thing I noticed in our franchise mode, and I don't take this lightly. Our owner, their willingness to move, as you can see it on the screen right there, the willingness to move the Toronto Meefs, as we like to call them here, crowd people. Crab people, crab people. Our owner is really willing to move the team. Yes, is the answer. The owner happiness, neutral. They're like neutrally happy. So the relocation overview screen looks like this. We have a whole bunch of cities that we could move the Toronto Meefs to. Um, it's quite a few. It's a little overwhelming. I didn't know they had all these options in this game. Uh, so we'll have to pare it down to cities that are open to negotiations. So all of them so far, I'm going through. Yes, yes. Oh, Portland is out. They do not want a team. They have no interest in the Meefs. Um, no to Salt Lake City. They are not open to negotiations. No to San Diego. 
and that's it. So all the other cities are, they want it. Interest in your franchise. We got Baltimore's a high. Halifax, Hamilton, also Hartford high. Baltimore, Hamilton, Hartford, Halifax, and Quebec City are the highs. So those are the likely ones where we would have negotiations and they would go through. I don't know. You debated amongst yourselves if next offseason you want us to move the Toronto Meafs. We are not doing it right now. That is too quick of a decision. Like, we shouldn't make that just immediately. Hey, move the Leafs. And we're not doing that. Next off offseason, one of those cities where it said they want the franchise high, not medium, and obviously not no. If you think there's a city there you want to see us move the Leafs to, we'll, I'll think about it. You know, like, I'll, I'll consider it. Probably won't happen maybe for a couple of years. But the goal here is to bring a Stanley Cup to the Toronto Maple Leafs. I want to do that first, and then we can move the franchise to Halifax. Okay, we can have the Halifax crab people. We could do that if we want. But first, I think we'd be bailing a little too quick. If we didn't, if we didn't do it right now, if we didn't try at least to win a cup right now with the Leafs in Toronto, we'd be bailing a little too quick. It is, it's 2029 off season. We're heading into the 2029, 2030 Stanley Cup season. We still haven't done it. So haven't done the thing, but we got to give it some more tries. We have a really good team. We've had a great team for years now. So hit me up in the comments. If you're watching on YouTube right now, go in the comments. Let me know where you want me to see where you want us to move the Leafs maybe in three seasons, maybe in two seasons, especially if we get one done. Like if we lift the Stanley Cup, then all bets are off. We can just have fun and do whatever because then we accomplish the whole goal of the stream. But hit, it, hit me up in the comments where you want me to move the Leafs. Hit us up on Discord. If you're not a member of our Discord, go to our Discord, uh, sdpn.ca. You can find the link to that. Uh, or in the chat, Robert Malloy, our wonderful mod. I'm going to give you some air horns, Robert. Join us on Discord there. We have a lot of fun. So, for today's stream, round of applause is really long. For today's stream, how about we do another speed run to the playoffs? Because as we've determined here, the only thing that matters is playoff success for these Toronto Maple Leafs because we've had the ultimate regular season success. We've won a President's Trophy. We've won uh, Norris Trophies for Adam Fox. Um, the Toronto Marlies won. Did they win the Calder Cup? Let me check. Let me check and see if they won the Calder Cup. Um, am I remembering that correctly, that we won the Calder Cup last um, last stream? I think that's where we ended it. Let me let me triple check it. If, see if yeah, the Toronto Marlies here. They won the Calder Cup. If you missed that at the end of last stream, yeah, we did the thing with the Marlies. But, you know, that's not the Leafs. That's not the Leafs at all. Um, so we're going to try and do it with the Leafs here. I'm going to show you the awards and, like, the history of our franchise right now. The last couple of years, it's gone Vegas, back-to-back -back for Colorado, then Dallas, then New York Islanders, who beat us in the first round as an eight seed. They went all the way to the Stanley Cup and won it. There's our President's Trophy. Look at that beautiful thing. That's ours. Um, and then I'm going to show you some of the individual awards that we've taken home. The Art Ross, Matthews won it in 26-27 for us. Uh, the Hart, Matthews won it 26-27. That's his big Hart year. Adam Fox had back-to-back -back Norris's, 27 and 28. Any other big wins for our squad? Uh, Vesna, no, we don't have a Vesna. I think that might be it for major awards for our team. It was Ted Lindsay, obviously the Matthews year. And the Rocket Richard. Matthews has that same one that same year. And that's it for big awards for our team. All right. Big moves this offseason. Matthew Kachuk's not coming back. We're going to evaluate the roster. They want to speed run to next playoffs. I'm going to try and... I did in 56 minutes last, uh, last stream. 
I'm going to try and top that. So let me see if I can start a stopwatch here. Stopwatch it. Stopwatch on Google. All right. So I'm going to start a stopwatch once we evaluate our franchise. And we are going to make some moves here. So what we have is Matthew Kachuk not coming back. The rest of the team is signed. As you, as you can see, this beautiful, this beautiful contract page that's that we've made. Can we get a round of applause for this? Like, I think Pizza Box deserves some credit. That's when we really started hammering down how to do this thing. But like, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, baby. All right. So that's on the main roster. And then in the system, we have a bunch of uh, UFAs, but they're lesser talent. You know, these are your Marlies. These are the championship winning Marlies um, that we're going to try and bring back most of this roster. There's a couple pieces that are just gone. Like Callie Yardcroak. Remember that experiment uh, when we got Callie and now he's a 72? Not, not a good deal. Don't get the 37-year-old for your cup run. They're going to fall off. Real quick. Kill Thomas. We got to do that. Contract. Offer contract extension. One way, 1.5. Yeah, we should do that deal. Oh, I can offer him right now. I'm going to do this a, a Kill Thomas deal. Shouldn't get out of the way. One year, 1.5. Yeah, I like that. Actually, yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's do it. Um, I already hit it. Uh, Niskala. One way. Top 4D potential, though. Can I get him for more years? Uh, eight years, top 4D potential, 2 million. Let me try. Let me try. Five years, 1.8. Let me try a little under market value. 1.7. Let's hopefully he matures into a top 4D and we have him for six years, $2 million. I'm risking here. Six years, $2 million. Take him until he's 28. Hopefully he's a top 4D. Hopefully he matures into that. I want to see what happens. Let's try and get this done. Hopefully Niskala matures into the top 4D we think he is. And then we can always trade him. Let's do it. We can bury it in the Mar Marlies if that doesn't work out. Here's an extension two-way. Yeah, join our Marlies team. Olsen, welcome back. Um... I think that's all our extension dollars are probably running out here. No, Matt Roy, we're going to release. Victor Mete, we are going to release. Oh, Victor Mete wants a two-way deal. That's free money. As we always say here on our streams, two-way deals are free money. Doesn't count against the cap. Beautiful confetti to that. Free money. Uh, Victor Mete wants to come back for $0. You can have it. Make the Marlies good. You are being released. And Callie's being released. All right. I think I can speed run this real quick because there's really nothing to do. But I might I might ruin my time by spending a lot of time at the draft. Cause I because we can make the um we can make the Hawes trade. So Hawes here. We're gonna resign Hawes, obviously. But we're also gonna flip him at the draft. So look how look how much money Hawes wants. Hawes, we're signing to this deal. We're trading him. We're trading him at the draft. We're packaging our second round. Let's try and package our first and our second and Hawes for a gem in the first round. Because that's all we want. All we want right now are gems. We don't need to stockpile prospects. We just need one to hit. And that's all we want. So we're going to sign Hawes to this deal. We're going to trade him at the draft. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to try this. So whatever he wants. He wants... One year, two years, 5.7. I'm going to give it to him. Whoever gets it will get this great two-year, $5.7 million deal. Uh, it's 24. It took him to 26. We're going to move him. That's the way it's going to be. All right. So hopefully this deal gets done before the draft. That's all of our extension dollars. Should I start the clock, everybody? Is this fair time to start the clock? Or should I do it after, after um, retirement phase? On our retirement phase is there. So it's right there. And the entry draft is next. Oh, it's that Friday. Oh, man. So Haas has to get that deal done so we can trade him. 
All right. Start the clock. Everybody, back on Noir says start the clock. It is starting. Let's go. Let's see how quickly we can get to the 2030 NHL playoffs. The clock has been started. Speed run. Here we go. All right. Last time I did in 56 minutes. So everybody take into account 56 minutes is where we where we had last time. Uh, the clock has started. Uh, we are 19 seconds in. Sam goes retired. Brad Marchand is gone. Oh, uh, Pavelski Kucherov. Oh man, Kucherov's done. Um, it's crazy when you get into this part of franchise mode and you see all your favorite stars from this era retiring. It's really sad. Uh, Huberto, Hart. Look at I got this is. I'm not even pausing the time for this. Hart Trophy candidate Jonathan Huberto. 2022 Hart Trophy candidate Jonathan Huberto retires from the game. I said it. I said it. Tyson Berry also gone. R.I.P. Tyson Berry. Uh, Tyler Toffoli doing real well with Calgary right now. Uh, Tarasenko's gone. OEL's gone. Zach Hyman. Zach Hyman. Leafs legend. Uh, who else we got? Any other big names? Jake Gardner. Clef bomb. Uh, let's go to let's go to goalies. Let's go to goalies. Marstrom, Mrazek, Campbell, Soup, Soup's done. Ends as a, a UFA. Nobody signed him. All right, let's move on. It skipped. Joe Pravelski is now a uh, a coach. Any of our coaches retired? No, thank goodness. That saves me some time. Continue simming. I don't need to do any interviews. Um, hopefully, hopefully the Haas deal gets done. Come on. Ah, he does not sign before the draft. We're still going to try and trade him. Let's see what we can do here. So, um, view draft class. Let's try this gem or bust. We got any gems. Ooh, ooh, ooh. scout rank 28. We got two gems. So we need Forstrom and Hennessy. I have a pen here. I have Mr. Pizza Box. Okay, so I'm going to write this down real quick. We got supposed to go at 43 range, 28. So we need picks in the, we need a pick around 20 and a pick around 30. So we can guarantee to get these two. I don't know if you can see that. I wrote it right here. A pick around 30 and a pick around 20. That's from my memory. So I remember it. Let's get these two guys. Let's get these two gems. Let's go. I think we are. We are, So our first round pick might be able to do it. Like we just might be able to do this with our picks. Um, where are we drafting? Let's see. Because we exited real quick, but we won the president's trophy. Okay. So 28. We're going to have to move up. We're going to have to move up because he's a 28. That's where he's projected to go. So let's move up this pick um, to somebody who wants to trade us. So 23, hopefully he's still at 23. Do we take the risk? 16. Let's try and trade for pick here. Let's try and trade for this pick here. Um, what could, can we do to find a trade? Just, just like for that pick. Fine trade. There we go. Um, Coyotes. Where are you? Arizona. Arizona. The speed runs are so difficult because I love taking my time with this stuff. This is my favorite part of the entire game is just making these trades like you're a fun GM. They want Brand Clark. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, no. No, that's not happening. You must be kidding me. What the hell is wrong with you, Coyotes? Um, we're just going to offer our first round pick. Let's see what we can do with that. Trade rejected. Ah, darn it. Um... A first and next year, second maybe. Um, the second is 60th overall, so we need to move that up. Definitely. Next year, first, next year, second. Proposed trade rejected. Uh, maybe there's a prospect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the 20th pick, the 23rd. Let's, let's do the 23rd. I think it's a more reasonable um, avenue. It was Montreal's pick. We're going to go just to make sure. 35 seconds left on the board. So we're going to go for the 23rd overall pick. Uh, that's how we're going to try and get. Uh, we're going to view draft class. We have two players to get. All players. Gem and bus. We have two people we need to draft. We need to get Forstrom. We need to get Hennessy. 
We need Forstrom at 23. We need Hennessy in the 30 range. Let's go. Let's try and do this. Let's go find a trade for that Montreal pick. So let's go Sim. Let's do Montreal Canadiens. Let's try and get draft picks. There it is. First overall. Fine trade. Open block. Timothy Farrell is what they're wanting, which is a huge ask because he is very good. And we don't want to get... It would defeat the whole purpose here to give up elite prospects for this draft pick. So, because then we would just keep the prospect, you know? That doesn't make sense. So we're going to try and give up as many draft picks as we can to try and get this draft pick, if that makes sense. Um, with uh, Maybe we can even package that can two seconds, a third... Let's try and get two seconds. Uh, two seconds in this. In this place. Two seconds. Um, fifth. Uh, sixth. All right, all right, all right. So, if we get the two seconds, the fourth... I'm just... Because these fourth and the fifth don't matter. So, I'm just essentially trading two seconds for a first. Oh, my God. Yes. I gave up way too much, but we got the first. Now we have two first round picks. That's a speed run trade right there. We have two first round picks. Um, we're, we should just do them both in the first round, right? So we have uh, 23 and 28. We can just have the pick of the litter. I don't do we need to do we need to trade back? Do we need to trade back at all? I don't know. Um View draft class. This is the speed run, you guys. This is how quickly we're moving. I think we just take them. We don't even worry about anything. We take um, Hennessy. We take Forstrom. Two first-round picks. We move on. That's the draft. Um, I can actually like that second. Let me let me see let me see where we're at with our that other first-round pick and where our other draft. Uh, so offer trade, fine trade. Let me see for our picks, um, draft picks. So we have two first. Oh, and a seventh. So yeah, all our picks are gone. We just have those two. We don't even move back because we don't need more picks. Does anybody want our seventh round draft pick? Oh, free Jake DeBrusque. Uh, we get a seventh. Can we push this seventh? Kel Clegg. All these guys are expiring deals, so they don't actually matter. Um, it's not like they're trading any real bodies. Here's an actual player. We get an actual player. I'll take the actual player for a seventh round pick. Yo, see, Seattle's right now is willing to give up an actual player. Oh, shout out Robert Malloy right now. Yo, shout out losing Jay's same idea. Let's yeet. Let's yeet those Kachuk rights real quick. Also, let's take this, uh, this goaltender. Ryder, oh, Ryder earns a 66 overall. No, don't even, uh, do I want that offer? Let's find trade for these Kachuk rights. Um, that's such a great idea, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, crab people. Crab people. Crab people. Kachuk, where are you at? Matthew, yes. Disappear from our team. Fourth overall pick. Or fourth overall. Fourth round pick. That's free. Um, edit. Fourth round pick. I'll take it. I'll take it, baby. Um, can we do anything else with this? So if they want Kachuk... Um, hmm. What else can we do? Can we turn it to, like, I just want to give them our seventh because I don't want to draft in the seventh. Can I turn it to a third? Can that, can they, can it get even higher? Can I, can I also get it next year? Because I don't want this year's picks. Can I get a second round pick? Can I get a second round pick? Trader, ah, okay, okay. So, uh, third round pick. Let's eat it. Trade rejected. Ah, okay. So I'm going to try and get next year's fourth. That's what they're willing to give up. I want to eat my se seventh round pick into the sky because I don't even want that contract on the books and I'm hitting X. There we go. Next year's seventh. There we go. Matthew Kachuk's rights are blasted into oblivion. Let's go make our two draft picks. Sim options. Sim to pick 23. I swear if our guys aren't there, I don't know what I'll do. I might cry. Um, there he is. There's our boy. Spencer Hennessy. Make pick. 
Uh, that's the right one. No. Oh, my gosh. We were eight seconds away from making the wrong pick. We're drafting Forstrom. Thank you. Forstrom make pick. There we go. Whew. Sim options. Sim to pick 28. Wow. I almost did that. Let's go. Um, let's make our last pick. Hennessy. Boom. Make pick. Let me double triple drag. Yes. Make pick. Henny. There we go. We got our two elite players. They're not going to play this year, but they're going to be good. Um, that's our draft for this year. Sim options. Sim entire draft, baby. We're done. Hands up in the air. Speed run. Let me check where we are at the end of this. 10 minutes and 31 seconds. 56 minutes is what I got to beat. I can definitely beat that considering all of the moves we made. I forgot to trade Haas, but we can move Haas whenever. Um, coaches with expiring contracts. Oh, Ryan gets laugh. We need to resign him. So let's bring back our coaches here. Budget remaining. NHL head coach is... Oh, no. You are... Lu Kapaduka is our associate coach. Associate coach. Three years. Here's a bunch of money. Here's a bunch of money. Ah, we forgot to trade the goalie. Yes, yes, but we will we will do that. We will we will try and get that in there. Speed runs, I'm not looking at the chat as much. Um Ryan gets laughs. Let's bring him back. Assistant coach. Um, here's a million bucks, Ryan. Um, all the money, all the money, the money doesn't matter. There's no real purpose for the money. We can always just extend our budget. Um, and this is our goalie coach, goalie coach. Welcome back. NHL goalie coach. Here's a bunch of money. $600,000. Whoa. Miroslav Savan. Um, and then our AHL associate coach. You can have a bunch of money. You can have this much. 600 grand. Make as much as the goalie coach. All right. And then I'm going to extend those budgets just to make sure. Scouts. Oh, my gosh. Scouts with expiring contracts. We need to resign some scouts. All right. Resigning phase. Victor Mate. No! Nascala! What? Nascala is not interested in extension anymore. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. Ah. Okay. We're, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. That's not like, that's not a thing that's happening. All right. So let me go to this off season, our current off season. Um, Yarn croak. That's an easy release. Um, Matt Roy offer contract one. Oh, wow. Matt Roy. No release. Niscala, please come back. Um, eight years, $2 million is all I want. Eight years, $2 million. Like, how are you going to turn this down? You want 1.6. I'm giving you eight years to no, that's too long. Six years, 1.85. There you go. 1.85, six years. That's a, the beauty. Deal. Seven years? 1.9? 1.9, seven years. Take you to 29. 29 is good enough. So we need to trade the goalie after the resign phase. You can't make trades during the resign phase. Uh, that's Haas. We need to trade. Um, so let's see. Lawrence, here's 27, 31. How much is your overall? 82 overall. What, are you, what kind of contract do you want? Going a one-way contract. Eh. Can we do one year? We need you on a one-way. Or, uh, sorry, on a two-way. 70, four strong. We're going to leave you guys to play in Junior A. Bartlett, top six. Ugh, UFA, Gill. Do some decisions here I got to make. Okay. So, we got Nascala. We got Meyer, 26 AHL. Okay, you're released. Uh, Lawrence, 27, 78 overall. Do you want a two-way? Oh, yeah, I can do this. Lawrence, you can stick around. You can play on that Marley's team. That's a championship. Uh, Kukanen, 82 overall. Offer contract. 
800 grand. I can do 800 grand. Let's do that. I can do that. That's not even bad. Um, Gil. Gil, what are you? What are you working with? 20 years old. Top six forward. Low. Uh-uh. I don't even want your contract on the book. No. And you want a million? You can go to the moon. You can go to the moon. You know? Do do we we don't want Gil, right? We don't we don't want Gil. Bartlett, especially lefty, 1962 overall. Bye. Um uh, you can go to the moon. You're done. All right, that's it. That should be our offseason. Goalies. Atlas, fringe starter. Um oh Cameron. Cameron, we don't need Cameron. Cameron can go to the moon. Atlas, you're the moon. Bye. A lot of guys are in the moon today. All right, let's go. Um, oh, scout resign. How much time do I got? 15 minutes. Once I get through this part, it's easy. Then we're just simming and waiting for the days. Scout, who needs a contract? Oh, okay, missed some. Resign. Yeah, you want 200. You want that much money. You can have it. Um, who's next? Kerman. Kerman, 183. Boom. Mick, no. Paula. Paula, you can have 155. Boom. Crosby. Novak. Novak can have 140. All right. There we go. Resigned. Um, let me see the budget allocation. Let's ramp that up so we don't get into any problems with the re-signing of the coaches and everything. Uh, arena operations. We're not even spending coach budget. We need to up that. There we go. All right. So all the coaches are going to fit under and we can always move it after. Um, perfect. And scout salaries. Let me up that. There we go. So we're not going to run into problems. Save budget. Oh, Robert. Great idea. That's a great question. Set an over under, uh, with the season. That's a great idea. Uh, please do that. Thank you. I don't know how many wins. How many points do you think we'll get on this year? Let's do points. Let's do let's do points. It'll be easy. Oh my gosh, Capaduca! Just resign. All these guys. I tried to overpay them so they'll coach below their positions, but they're not doing it. This is the problem we always face. So we need to go offer them even more money. Oh my gosh. Kukanen doesn't want the money. Hey, Nascala. Nice. Nascala did it. Um, all of our coaches don't want the money. Um, and that really that's slowing down this this speed run because the coaches are very frustrating. We just you're a very good coach. Like, just take the money. I'm gonna offer you so much money that you can't say no. You want a million dollars. Here's one point seven eight million dollars. Just be our associate assistant coach, NHL assistant coach. All right, there you go. And then ah, I did an associate. So you gets laugh. You got to be. What did I offer him? I offered him assistant. So you got to be associate. All right, let's try this. You want nine hundred grand? Here's one point five million dollars. Let's do this. Um, there it is. Offer contract. Is that enough this time, Ryan? Savan, you got to be our goalie coach. Let's try to do this. NHL goalie coach. A million dollars. I'm going to offer him a million dollars. 1.1 even. That's, this is the max I can offer you. Oh my gosh. It wouldn't let me go any further. Please just re-sign it so I can move on from this. Coaches are very difficult negotiators. Uh, Robert, you're free to set the over-under at whatever you feel is accurate. Hey, Novak accepts. One more day. Similar to this day. Kerman, that's our scout. Scout accepts. Paula accepts the scout. Capaduca, we need to get a new associate or something. Getzlav needs to go as well. Savon's not doing it. Ah, that's difficult. All right. So, looks like we might need new coaches. Coaching staff. 
we on we couldn't offer Savon more money, so that's not an issue here. Like we can't do anything about it. Um, we'll have to go to the next phase where the free agency phase and just try and hire new coaches. Maybe we'll do. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We can't. We we honestly can't offer them more money. Like we offered them all of the money and they're not taking it. Um, so let me try two mil. You want two million dollars, Landon? You were this role last year, and now you want an upgrade? Like there's two point one million dollars. Be assistant, associate, offer contract. Um, I don't know. So we just keep offering this until we hit the free agency phase because we can't do anything until then. 20 minutes in. Got about 20 minutes left. No, 30, 36 minutes left. $2 million, Ryan gets laugh. Africa. I get you've made a lot of money in your career, but Savon needs to go because we offered him all the money you can at that position. So that's not even an option. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's sim a day. That's our scout accepting. Sim one more day. Ah, Cabaduca's not doing it. Hey, okay, so Getzlaff is doing it. Getzlaff is in. Now we just need, let me double check. So Cabaduca's gone, and we'll need... Gets left our assistant. We'll need an associate coach because Capaduca is not doing it. And we'll need a new goalie coach because Savon's not doing it either. So we'll do those two in the free agency phase. So we're going to sim over. We got to trade Haas. And then we're good. And then we can sign some free agents. That'll be awesome. All right. So simulator to this day. Coach is not renewed. Amazing. Savon, Landon, hire coaches. We need an associate coach. Oh my gosh, there's some good uh, coaches out there. But we need somebody who's up for the role. Oh, NHL associate coach. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So NHL associate coach, you're very cheap. You don't want a lot. $1 million offer contract. I mean, just before I do that, let's, let's, oh. Phil Kessel. Kessel. All right, Phil, get in here. NHL associate coach. Phil the thrill, Kessel. All of our money. I don't know how this works. All of it. All of it, Phil. Take it. Just take it. Thank you. And then we need a goalie coach. Uh, let's see. Defenseman. No, let's go the other way. Veterans. Uh, goalies. There we go. AHL assistant. AHL assistant. AHL assistant. Who's D? There's a lot of C. Oh, so those are all the specialists and goalies. They all want to be a AHL assistants. So let's take. Oh, you're an E. Let's take Jeff Jeffrey. Ah, his name's not Jeff Jeffrey. NHL goalie coach. You can have that 300 grand off a contract. Javon Jeffrey. We have 42 contracts. Oh, that's we're usually at like 39 at this point. All right. So let's try and see what we can do with this trade. Find a trade. We got to move our goalie. That's not necessary. Mr. Kyle Hawes. Open market. Third round pick. Drake Batherson. No, that's too much money. So a third and a fourth is the going rate for Kyle Hawes. Rathbone's not bad. Mike Riley. Mike, I want to see what Mike Riley's at. Like, what? What's the? What's the overall range we're getting? You know, like what kind of defenseman can we get? 
at a trade. $2.2 million, you know, it's not bad. What's the overall? 81 overall, lefty, 35. Uh-uh. I might even do this just for draft picks, and then we can always uh, take the cap space and do some stuff in free agency. So I'm going to... we Let's do an evaluation of our team. Oh, <laughs> the people, the crab people. Let me hit your button. Crab people, crab people. The crab people want us to fire the head coach. So we have a lot... We have a, we have an angry mob of crabs uh, asking for the head coach to be fired. We're gonna evaluate the coaching situation once we look at the roster. Let's figure out the roster first. Um, then let's figure out the coaching situation. So Kershaw is gonna get really good. Um, that's awesome. So let me look at our top twelve fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we're done. We're done with the forward group. This is like, I don't even want to add. Like, we can't add to the forward group because like Farrell's going to get better. Kruger's going to get better. Uh, so we don't need to add there. Let's check defense. Uh, you are going to get better, Caden. He's 25 though. Um. Defense, let me see, in the system, main roster, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need a big defenseman. That's what we need. So left, we need a right defenseman because uh, it's Riley Fox, Sandy and Clark, Perrin, no one. So let's go get a right defenseman who fits on the third line. So like an 83 overall Right-handed defenseman is what we want right now. 83 overall, right-handed defenseman. Uh, defenseman here. Sort by overall. Somebody's going to play on the third line. Somebody who's young enough. Someone who's good. Like, true. Oh, true was 35. Would you fit on our third line, Cal Foot? Defense pairing two. Yeah. Because I don't want anybody to bump down Sandine, you know? We got to have somebody who fits right in there. Um, We could re-sign Kukunen. He was on our team before. Play on both sides. 81 overall. That's real good. I don't hate that at all. Ooh, what is this? Are you an RFA expiry? Yes. You're lying. You're lies. Um... Zadorov's so 34. I think right now, I'm trying to see. So the options right now look like Kukunen, we can bring him back. We can wait a little on the Kukunen deal. It's $3.1 million. That might come down. Because Kukunen played both sides, and I love that. Um, or we do a bigger splash, and we do... Oh, what is this? Are you... 25 UFA. Oh, who let you go to free agency? David Yurichek? David Yurichek. Um, let me know if anybody in there stands out to you guys uh, while we go and do... So that's, that's the free agent defenseman list. We're not adding to the four group, I don't think. Uh, we'll save that money for a future day. Uh, the find a trade... We can also do so proposed trade. Let me see here. Let me bring in Haas. This speed run's not gonna be speedy. I didn't I didn't realize there's so much we gotta do. Uh, let's get Kevin Haas in here. Kyle Haas, my bad. Um, maybe we can get the defenseman this way. Maybe we get two of them. Who's Mayor? Medium elite? Is that what we're asking for? So right defenseman here. I can't sort by defenseman or their handedness. Let me let me find a team who wants Haas, Boston. Oh, I remember when we wanted Strombolopolis. That would have been awesome. Uh, Boston has no one. Buffalo. No, that's too much money. Calgary. 
Vince Dunn is too old. Oh, Romanoff, $29.6 million. No. No. Let's keep going. Perron, 22. Uh, 18. Oh, can we do something like this? Top four defensemen, 1.1. And then we also give up like something. No, no, I'm, I'm overthinking this. That's not going to work. All right, defenseman. We need, like, aging guy. All right, all right. So, Chicago, Seth Jones. He's a game breaker because he's broken in the game because he's too good. Is Spencer right D? Shoots right. Right D. He's fit on the line. Defense pairing three. Oh, Jordan Spence here. This is what we need. One year left, $3.1 million, 82 overall. Third pairing fits right there. Come on. Chicago. Trade accepted. That's perfect. Hey. Hey. Look at that. Look at that. Pizza Box taught me that. Pizza Box taught me about the fit. The fit on the lines. Pizza Box taught me all that. Okay. So, uh, defenseman. Let's do, look. That's perfect. Right D. Jeff Perrin. They'll be right and left. Now we have $6.5 million in cap space. He'll be a UFA at the end of this year. So if we can bail on this deal, if we want, we need, uh, so $6.5 million. Let's go get some insurance. We just need some, um, some like depth D guy, you know, nothing big, maybe even like just a two way 80 overall. Somebody who wants to be the seventh defenseman on this team, maybe spell Spence, every once and again, but then we're just going to save the cap. We're just going to save the cap because we haven't had cap space in years. This isn't something we normally have. Um, yes, let's sort by potential for sure. Um, there's always this where you steal the potential guys who are 19. Here's a low. So we're just going to take, oh, he's 55 overall. That's not even worth a flyer. Um, 23. Shen, 66 overall, RFA expiry status. Um, you want to try Mayor? Mayor's 3.5, lefty. All right, let's do that. UFA, elite medium. Let's try and let's do this one. Let's do Mayor. Yeah. Elite medium. Good. 80, roll, 80, 80 overall. I can't speak. Um, there's our 70. I'm going to offer him 3.5 million. We have the cap space. We can bury him if anything. There we go. Mayor's cool. Boom. Let's do that. Harvey Mayer. There's our seventh defenseman, hopefully. Um, defense pairing three. Yeah, if it would fit in left, left side. He'd be where Perrin is if we need that. So if Harvey Mayer comes in, that's our lefty. Um, awesome. And then I'm going to sort by potential again. Just look through the age on the side is what I'm looking at. Um, seeing if there's anybody who's super young who slipped through the cracks. Like Gil here. Gil was on our team. We don't want him. He's not good. Um, I don't think there's anything. Let me check goalies. Uh, goalies. Oof, they're going. They're not going cheap. 23-year-old uh, elite medium here. RFA expiry status. Um, starter, 23. Oh, McCall. Starter low. Let's do this. You can you can come here and play for the Marlies. Um, yeah. You have starter potential. That's a future. Um, here's three years. Million dollars, two way. Million dollars, two way. McCall, hopefully a future starter in the NHL. We could trade him. All right. There we go. Um, Connor Hellebuck. Let's go sign Connor Hellebuck. No, we would never. All right. Speed run. Let me check the time. 34 minutes. But we are almost, we're done basically in uh, our offseason moves. Oh, coaches. <sighs> coaches. Let's see if uh, coaches work. Phil Kessel, maybe he'll join. I don't know. Javon Jeff Jeffrey Jeffrey doesn't sign with us. No, we're not doing that. Come on, free agency. Ah, Phil Kessel. So we need to go get Phil Kessel again. Uh, maybe I can up the budget. Phil Kessel was going to sign with us. I think that's hilarious. Um, we need to do this 
operations budget. We're not doing by coach by fit Shakespeare. We're doing by coach by hilarity. That is the rule. Scout salaries are coming down to make room for Phil Kessel. Scout by, uh, we're at the max coach budget. All right, so we can't do that. Um, scout travel can go up. There you go. All right, let's go back. Save budget. Oh, you guys want me to fire the head coach. That was it. Not even re-sign the head coach. Just fire them. Uh, so what would it cost? See, he makes $5.6 million. He has one year left on the contract. It wouldn't make sense to fire him. Let him play out the contract. This is his last season. If he doesn't win, we don't re-sign him. That's it. Okay, crap people. Is that a happy medium? Crap people. Crap people. Nathaniel Peterson's got one year left. We're not going to fire him with one year to, year to go, and then we don't have that $5.4 million. So the thing is, we need that $5.4 million to go uh, sign a... Who do we have? We have an assistant coach. We have an associate coach we got to sign. So we have to go sign an associate coach. And a goalie coach. Okay, so we need to go do that. Um, what's the higher coach? Oh, higher coach screen. Oh, that's higher scouts. So we need we need to hire coaches, associate coach, um, associate coach. So maybe we don't do Phil because he wants to be an NHL head coach. Budget remaining. Can we do this? Million dollars here, Phil. Can you do what do you how much do you want? 974. We're just gonna offer you 978. Associate coach, please. Offer contract. And then we need a goalie coach. The goalie coach the goalie coach contract, we didn't have enough space either. So we need to do something that's real cheap. Uh let's see. 127. No, you're an E. Is anybody a D? Oh no, no, no. 125 e 320 oh c minus oh oh we'll wait till phil's done see how much budget we have and then let's go get a goalie coach all right so let's sim see if phil kessel signs as our associate coach we do coaches for the lulls we'd hey harvey mayor thank you for joining the toronto maple leafs welcome to the squad we may be in Halifax in a year. Victor McCulloch, welcome to the team. Decline trade. Uh, Phil Kessel, please be our associate coach in the next couple days. Phil Kessel does not feel the size of our team's market is what he's looking for, so I will decline. Phil Kessel is afraid of the me media, everyone. Write that down. Um, Phil Kessel does not support the Toronto media. He thinks it's too big. He is afraid. He does not want to be an associate coach here because we have too big of a market. It is what it is. Let's go get a new associate coach, hopefully for cheap. Let's try and do forwards. Oh, a Nylander. I like Nylander. That's awesome. We're going to offer you 717 NHL associate coach. And then that means it's cheap enough where we can offer a goalie at the same time. We don't have to wait for the numbers to come through. Borkstrand? Do you guys see any former NHLers? We always love hiring former NHLers on the squad. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, now I'm in generalist. Ideas, please. Ah, I held it in. Okay. Coleman. Lamb. Lamb, that's good. Goalie coach. NHL goalie coach. Here's 200 grand. 228 offer contract. Ethan Lamb. There you go. All right. Let's see what let's see what we got in a couple days. This is really taking away from my speed run. Trying to work out these coaches' contracts. Let's go. A couple days. Ah! Callie Nylander, associate coach. Let's go. Yeah, Ethan Lamb, goalie coach. Let's go. All right, we're done. Let's go sim. Let's go see who's on the free agent market at the end of July. I got to decline all these trades. Now it's just sitting here declining trades. I got to take Smaby off the 
off the block. Unless he gets like a first round pick or something. That'd be crazy. Okay. Um, let's him to the end of the week actually, and then check to see the free agency market. All right, let's go. We're all, let me see what time it is. 40 minutes. I got 16 minutes. I could do this. Unless like a bunch of guys complain again. Oh, why am I in contracts? I need to go free agents. Let's go. Um, Stone's still out there. So are there any sweetheart deals? If we can do a two-way contract, two-way. Who is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right wing, 27, one year, two-way, 900 grand, free money. Let's go. Um, Rudolph's Balsers? He's 32 now. Um, he's not real life young. All right, there's a free contract there. Let's take the 80 overall. Uh, all right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. See any anybody else comes up cheaper in a week. Um, August 1st, cheap contracts. Let's go. Um, let's see. August. Decline trade. Decline trade. Decline trade. Yes. Brandon Co. Decline trade. And let's go check out the roster, uh, the free agency here. Free agents. Let's go do this. Scheiss still out there. Let me check two way. Oh, no. Oh, two way. There we go. All skaters. Rudolph Spalser still out there. Alex Nylander, do we reunite the Nylanders? Not really. Let's not do that. Goalies, any goalies out there? Montembo! Ah! Billy Huso! I love seeing the real life guys right now in the game. It makes me happy. All right. Let's keep them in. I think we're done. I think our free I think our off season's done. Um that's it. I'm simming. September, here we come. Robert Malloy, what did you set the over under at for the season? Let me check. Let me check and see what we finished at last season. I, I, don't, I don't even know if I can do that. Ooh, oh, why is our second round pick also in that trade? That's stupid, Vegas. I'm never doing that. I'm not moving our seconds to get a third. I'm not trying to dump the contract. You're ridiculous. A hundred and one point five. That seems so low. That seems so low. That's an easy over. Oh, Evan Bouchard, Dozato. I think we're going to hit that. We'll see. Like, I don't know, but I hope we hit it. I feel like we could do it. We'll see. I don't know. What is it? 78% over, 22% under. I feel like we can do it, but like, I'm also not sure. That's a good, that was a, that's a good number. I'm like, oh, that's so easy. But then I'm like, you know, who knows? We got an extra $97,000. What's our owner goals? We'll check them when we start. Uh, done. What day is the uh, day you got to move the guys up and down? That's an important day. All right. Auto assign. Oh, let me check the time. 43 minutes. I'm going to beat our, our record last time. 56 minutes. I'm going to do it under. I'm going to I'm gonna beat it. We're at 43. I got to just finish everything in 10 minutes and just simming at this point. We're not going to do anything to trade deadline. Remember last time we got caught up with trying to trade Matthew Kachuk? We don't need to do that this time. Unless we want to move uh, William Nylander. So I'm going to go check the uh, up and down. Um, Let's try and do this. So... Edit view roster moves. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Donovan Patan. So good. So let me see the bottom of the roster. Ooh, Mayor made the team. That's awesome. In the system. What is... Oh, I guess because it's um preseason. Uh, Adam Fox is in the minors. But okay. All right. Let's sim. Let's get a little ahead of time. October 10th. Oh, perfect. Simulate for this day. All right. 
October 11th is waivers. All right, so here we go. Let's set the roster. We have too much cast space to do nothing at the deadline, is what the people are saying. I hear you. Crab people, crab people. Let's see what we can do at the deadline. Head coach preferred lines. Uh, defense. There is everybody. Our uh, defense is looking real good. This is the best defense we've had in years. Uh, scratched. Mayor. Niscala. Kate. So we have three left defensemen scratched. So we're going to send down... Who should we send down? The youngest, I guess. Let's send down Tommy and the Scala. Let's send down Ferrario. Ferrero. Caden. And let's keep Harvey Mayer. Yeah, let's keep Mayer as our extra D. Tommy, you're going down. Roster moves. All right. So let me get the defenseman here. We have way too many defensemen with the big club. Send down. Let me see this two-way situation. Yeah, send down. Actually, if I send down, no, Mayor's making three point five million dollars. I don't. I want to use him. You're standing with the big club, like yeah. Okay, so we got that, and then the forward group. So let me see our forwards. Who's in the system? Who's not with the big club? Maybe we bring up Hadfield. Wait, NHL. So, Akil Thomas, Matthew Joseph, and Mark Carmichael. Let me check the bottom line there. So, it's Kurashev, Connor McMichael, and Akil Thomas. Oh, William Nylander, 82. He's going he's gonna to play up to his potential. Like He's going to get back up to an 86, 87. He always starts like this. He's getting up there in age. Um, we might have to move on from him soon, but he's our own rental this year. We're keeping him. So Kirishev, uh, McMichael, and Akil Thomas, and Matthew Joseph. Matthew Joseph and Akil Thomas on the right wing. I might send them down. And let me see if I can improve on that. So they're playing right right now. Um, in the system, who do I have? Oh, t should, should Mr. Timothy Farrell make the NHL team now? That's a good question. Uh, Joey Anderson is an upgrade over Matthew Joseph, so I will do that. Confirm. Let me see if he makes the team. Uh, let me call up Hadfield, see if he makes the team. And then I'm just going to let the coach do the lines. And then see what's up and see if I have to bring them down. Um, Farrell. I, I think I want to leave down Farrell for now. 22. He can just dominate the AHL. I don't even want an option for the NHL. So we're going to do best lines there. I'm going to hit the, AH, the NHL lines. Options. Head coach preferred lines. Joey Anderson cracks the lineup. So I'll leave him up. Uh, Kirishev gets scratched, so I don't like that. Hadfield takes the place of Kirishev on this bottom line. So I'm going to send back down Hadfield. Kirishev can have that spot. Joey Anderson, though, I'm going to keep in the lineup. And then scratch will be Akil Thomas. So we're going to send back down Hadfield. Akil Thomas will be the extra forward. And Mayer will be the extra defenseman. There we go. Hadfield. Goodbye. You're going back down to the Marlies. I'm sorry. This was just a paper transaction. I know I got your hopes up, but you did not make the team this year. All right. Hadfield. Set back down. Awesome. And then, yeah, we're not even going to try Faro right now. So let's go to edit lines. Best NHL lines. Do your thing. There's, there's Kirishev. So the chemistry doesn't even change. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. It's plus one there. So let's go. All right, NHL time. The over-under has been set at 101 and a half points. Will we hit over? Will we hit under? Who knows? The game knows. We will soon find out. And the crowd people are asking me to please buy at the deadline. When we get there, we'll see. What if we need to sell? Just saying.
What if we need to sell at the deadline? Who knows? That's a thing that might happen. Here's the deadline. I'm going to sim right up to March 1st, simulate day. Let's go. We're doing it. Ah, we lost our first goal. Win our regular season home opener. I need a sip of coffee. I got to sit here and decline trades. This is it. It's regular season after winning the President's Trophy. How will we do? How will we rebound after losing in the first round to the New York Islanders? Will this team bounce back? I don't know if they have it in them. It's been so many years of success in the regular season and so much failure in the playoffs. Uh, it's you can only <laughs> your body can only take so much defeat, but that is the will of a champion. The ability to bounce back. And this team's bouncing back early on. 10 3 and 12 3 and 3 to start the year. That's pretty that's a pretty great start, but it means nothing until we reach the playoffs. That's all I'm saying. Did you notice how we don't have any um We don't have any uh meetings with with uh players? Like we hey, high five, high five. Yeah, high five. We built a great chemistry team that they don't even have to sit down with uh, meetings with me you know and they're like oh i'm not playing too well you know we don't have that those kachucks that we had last year because we built a great roster here that's gelling and nobody's unhappy great job everyone great job i'm gonna hit your button Crab people. Crab people. you know these mean these wins mean nothing shakespeare you wish they meant more to you but they mean nothing uh boston burns hire their head fire their head coach we too will fire our head coach if anything uh, if this season goes to the garbage, we may we may fire our head coach, but we, we haven't reached there yet. We're in January. The Senators are having an unbelievable season. We can't keep up with them. They're in our division. They might ruin our streak of division wins. I believe we have six straight division wins. Um, this is looking like the real life Atlantic, except opposite teams. It's the Sens Canadians and the Canadians who are holding back the Leafs instead of the Panthers and the Lightning. This is just awful luck for us. We're 30-11-6 and, and we can't win our division. This is just awful. Just awful. All right. So if we're buying at the deadline... Ah, oh, Pavel's just gone off on the meeting. So we went almost the whole season without a meeting. Um, we've never done that before. Hey, just gone off. We boosted his spirits a little. That's awesome. No morale change, but we talked him out of his slump. That's good. All right. So let's keep denying those trades. I don't, you guys want me to buy here, but like, who are we buying? What are we buying with for this roster? Like, we're not going to upgrade in goal because we have a goalie of the future. Oh, we did it. Okay. That's March 1st. We're 80 points, which is third best in the NHL. We're two points out of a division with two games in hand. I'm going to check the stats. Yes, we will check the stats. We will check the depth. We will check everything. The third right pairing, right winger slot is the only place where I'm like, oh, you know, Matthew Joseph might not be the best for that. Austin Matthews, nice 69 points in 59 games. Unbelievable uh, for him. Genther having a great year. Donovan Patan. Our second year and third year in the league, having a great season. Willie's bounce back, 81 overall. William Nylander, um, he's done with us. This is his last season, if I'm being honest. Let me see where his role is. Has William Nylander's role changed? Like, maybe we bump him down. Ooh. Ooh. Third scoring forward. We figured it out. We figured it out. He's having a great season. Like for having 81 overall, he's having he's having a fantastic season. Oh, let me check the goalie stats. So I think that might be what we're doing for the deadline. We get the right winger um for that Willie spot for next year. Like, oh, goalie's not that great. Berglund's not having the best season. Uh, 908 save percentage, 901 for Hugo. But, you know, 
87 overall elite goalie. That's beautiful. All right. So William Nylander, he's been a trooper for this team, but he's got to play down in the lineup now. We're going to resign him hopefully at a good price. Let me see contracts. Maybe we need to do some contract uh, futures here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So what do we have coming up? Brent Clark's going to be a huge payday. Oh, it's actually not that much. Oh, we could do that. So, like, our cap space this year, maybe we just ship it off to next year. Like, we don't spend it here, and then... No, that doesn't make sense. Like, we just make sure we don't sign anybody who would be taking up some of this next year's cap space. Because we have Patan, off, and Orb. All RFAs, we're getting screwed with those deals. So, Willie... Next... Oh, Willie's gone. Uh-uh. Willie is gone. He wants $5.8 million. He's the 81 overall. Bye-bye, Willie. So we're going to save a bunch of money. That money is going to go to Patan. She's gone off an orb. Um, that's okay, though. She's gone off is already making 7.5. So um, we can find a way to fit that in. Patan. Oh, Patan wants that. Oh, gosh. That's a lot of money. Yay, we can do that. Or we can definitely do that. Seven years. Let's do this right now. Seven years, 4.9 before Orb gets good. Oh my goodness. Yes, 7.7, 7, 4.5, please. Till he's 27? Yeah, 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 yeah. Offer extension. If he takes that, that's the best deal ever. Um, And then Shishkanov wants seven again, I guess. Uh, we'll have to resign him, take the one-year deal, just do a flyer. And then Patan's going to cost 9.1. Willie's gone. Somebody's saying, check Farrell. Yes, 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 yes. Farrell, our rookie who we had him play down. He's right wing. We're going to call him up. We're going to call him up for the playoff run. That's beautiful. Love it. We're also going to do the extension. Seven years. No, we can only do three years. Three years. Can we do more? No, three years. He's only 22. No, we can't do more than three years. Okay, three years, all the money. Uh, here's nine fifty nine a million dollars three year. Um, interest. He wants a two way contract still. You're gonna be you're gonna get really screwed on this deal, Faro. But that's okay. Um, <laughs> that's okay with us. It's gonna help our cap situation. Woo. Okay, so we're gonna do that deal, and then we need to call up Faro so we can play on that right right wing spot hopefully in replace of willie who's struggling you know what this playoff run is going to be a fun one i'm jacked for it uh let's see we get to call up the rookie who hopefully makes an impact does something big with the big club hasn't played on the team all year we're calling him up to make some big moves where does he fit in the lineup there he is Third line, right wing. We got the young guys line. We got Orb. We got Walensky. We got Far. Walensky's already 25. We've been playing this game for so long. Um, that's so much fun. That line's going to be awesome. But, like, what happens with Willie here? Do we go out? We try and get a right winger. I don't know. I think we just run with it. Let's just leave it. I'm not for all the deadline moves. I think, like, our defense is good. Our starting goaltender, we drafted Berglund. Like, that's us. Drafted by Toronto Maple Leafs in 2025. That's us. That's us. We did such a great job. Uh, let's run with it. Willie's having a fantastic season. I want to win the Stanley Cup with William Nylander. Cooking, you know? He has 21 goals, 24 assists. He's having a great season despite his overall. Crab people, you talk me out of it. Let me know what you think I should do. Um, let me know what you think I should do at this trade deadline. I think we just leave the team. I think we run into the playoffs. We see what's at. Um, Hasty says sign Clark. Let me see Clark contract. Let me see Clark contract. Okay. Let me see Clark's contract. Brent Clark. How much Brent Clark want? Oh, it's not even bad. Yeah. We can do Clark. Actually want to do Clark for, oh, he doesn't even give a discount if you go less years. Uh, the 6.6. .6, yeah, if we can get the 6.4 he wants is a little good. Let's offer 6.15. 6.15. 6 
6.15. Hopefully we can get him under there. Six flat? Well, do you think he'd take six flat? 400 grand off? Waffles is there. Hello, Waffles. Um, think he'd do six? Let's try six. Brand Clark at six is a deal. Um, Kirishev. Eh, we might have to cut bait on Kirishev, but he's been great for us. Um, okay. Spence. Spence is a great deal for us. Oh, my goodness. You are not getting that from us. Um, Akil Thomas, do you want a two-way? No, he wants a one-way again. William Nylander, too much. Uh, Donovan Batan is going to be so much money. I'm just going to push that. I'm going to punt that till the end of time. All right. So let's see what we can do here. $3.6 million. I'm going to leave it. Trade deadline. No moves. I like our team. Third in the National Hockey League. 86 points. Blue Jackets lead the way. Next up is the Sens. Next up is the Leafs. Let's enter the trade deadline, yeah? What's, I don't, what's going to be the moves there? Hey, Orb, come back. Brant Clarkson, we got him for the six. Let's go. It's hot up in the six right now. It is hot up in the six for six million. Brant Clark, let's go. That deserves a little dance. Oh, Timothy Farrell, we offered him a two-way deal. That's, that's our bad. Let me go back and fix that. Let's go. Um, Faro, let's get this deal under. Let's get this one under. He's actually on the team now. So let's do this. Offer extension. One way. Seven year. Eight years. Oh, my gosh. We can offer him the eight years now because he's on the team. Eight years, $2 million. I swear if this goes through, this is our biggest fleecing of all time. We've done this a couple times, but never this big. $2.1 million, eight years. Two point two. I just need him to take 2.2 eight years. This will save everything in our cap situation for the future. Pierre, can you believe that? I can. Um, that'd be insane if we can get that. Let's try it. Oh, come on. Fingers crossed here. Yes! <laughs> Fleecing, everybody! Fleecing, let's go. Bring out the fox. Do a little dance. That's a fleece. That's a fleecing for sure. That's an elite player who signed for 2.2 for eight years. Wow. Uh, keep current ticket prices. Uh, we are a buyer. Enter trade deadline. <sighs> let's see. Um, so available, Cole Perfetti, uh, all right. So these are the players available. Top 10 players, right wing, Mark Stone. Oh, his trade value is like garbage. So we get Mark Stone. We can play him in that spot. Let me see what's up. So let me go exit trading. Oh, trade alert. Somebody already traded. Uh, Mark Stone, open block. No trades found for Mark Stone. So, so this is the right wing upgrade we'd get, right? Is everybody cool with that? Mark Stone is... Because his trade value is not that high. We could probably do something with this. Um, Like, I'm not giving up a first round pick. But, like... Oh, we don't even have the cap space. We'd have to give up a player. I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, let's let's leave this. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. We're not moving Nylander. That's definitely not happening. Um, let me see anybody who has good trade value. Who's like, we don't. Connor Walchuk's probably never gonna work out. There's somebody we could move. I don't mind moving Connor Walchuk. Uh, let me see what we can get for him. Darling as well. Darling, somebody who's probably not going to mature into anything. So let's go. Let's go back. We're not moving Nylander, everybody. Anybody suggesting Nylander, you're not happening. Fine trade. I'm going to try and move Connor Walchuk here. There's something we can actually do. Uh, oh, select. There we go. 
Second round pick. Oh, wow. Andre Palat. Brendan Gallagher. He's age. Oh, he's not good anymore. We get a second round pick for Connor Walchuk. There's our goalie. They're trying to offer us Kyle Hayes back. Uh, we're not doing that. I'm looking for a name. Matt Dumba, no. Uh, uh. Nah. Uh. Drew N, no. He's not good anymore. Will Butcher, no. All right, we're back at the top. Let me see if there's anybody here. So the only thing I saw, Robert Thomas, 87. Fine trade. Oh my gosh, that's that's what it takes for Robert Thomas. You guys, the oh, actually there was a little bit. There's more screens, but uh, let me see, let me see. Right wing, 87 overall. Niskala and Mayer. Far. Oh my gosh, no. Hennessy Walinski. No, these prices are too much. These prices are too much. Um, Nolan Patrick. The only place we can improve is right wing. Let me see this Mark Stone deal. Uh, top available players available all teams. Eh, like I'm a. Let me go back to the Mark Stone. Oh, here's more teams. Jake Gensel, Cole Caulfield. He's 85 overall. Why is Morgan Riley out there? He is not on our block. Um, what's it take to get Cole Caulfield? There's nothing. That there's a straight offer. Yesy. What does Yesy take? Kruger and Cameron. Oh, two thirds for Yesy. Hey, I'd do that. Would you guys want to do that? Crab people. Crab people. Crab people. What do you think? I'm giving you, I'm throwing you a bone. Throwing you a crab leg. Two thirds for Yessi. That's kind of cool. One year. There's our deadline acquisition. We're not moving Willie. Who said that? Drowsy Dan. You're looking for a ban. Don't suggest trading Willie. So here we go. Uh, let's check the stats. Yes. Great point. Not good. He's been nothing. He's been boo-boo this season. Not great. No, that just pushes Farrell down for somebody who's not good. Do you want to do you want to do that for someone who's not good? 7 goals, 13 assists. I'd rather play Farrell. Is that Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. We're not doing that. He's not good. Thank you for telling me to check his stats cuz that just talked me way out of that move. Um, this is our last swing. It is noon. No, it's 8.06 a.m. on trade deadline day. Um, I'm going to do one more assessment of who's out there on the right wing spot. Anthony Mantha is an 84 overall. Fine trade. Mayor. Second. Oh, my God. They want a second round pick. No, we're done. They want a second round pick. That disgusts me. I'm going to barf. I'm not giving up a second round pick for Anthony Mantha. Excuse me. We're done. Get out of my face. Oh, Mike Riley. No, 75. No, decline. Get out of here. All right. That's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're out of here. We're simming to April 1st. Ah! Want too much. Second round pick my butt. We won 9 2 versus Montreal. There you go. Sip a coffee. A little cold brew in the glass. It's delicious. Try it. Especially at 8 o'clock at night. All right. So I'm going to check the time on our one hour and nine minutes. That trade deadline took so much. Hey, 102. Pay out the overs. The overs paid out. Just noticed. We're going to win the division again. Hopefully, will we do it? Pay out the overs. 102. That's awesome. Oh, we're cleaning up here at the end of the year. Um. All right. It's almost go time. Deep breaths, everyone. Okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths.
deep breaths. This is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. These speed runs get us here real quick ah, to the important part of the Toronto Maple Leaf season. The only thing that matters. Yeah, we'll check off our stats. We finished second in the league again? Oh my gosh. That's, a, that's our bread and butter, finishing second in the league. We can do that with our eyes closed. Look at that. Let me see. Entire league. Second place again. Well done, Toronto Maple Leafs. All we do is finish second in the league. Just missed out on the President's Trophy back-to-backs with, uh, by three points, four points. If, you, uh, if we wanted to pass 118, we're very good at that. We're going to go check out our individual stats. Austin Matthews just continues his incredible career. What a career for this kid. This this 32-year-old man uh, is what he is now. Uh, you can't see career stats. No, you can't see career stats on this on this screen, which is... Oh, there it is. Full career stats. Austin Matthews, his full career stats, 606 goals, 1,118 points. Unbelievable. One Hart Trophy, one Rocket, one Ted Lindsay. Dang. What a What a career. Just going to keep it going. Uh, we'll see if he passes Ovi in career goals. Ovi scored 1,000 goals, I believe. He scored 1,000 goals by the end of this uh, sim. So points here. Let me see where Farrell finished. How did Farrell do in his run on the team? Hey, not bad. 13 points. He has first career goal. Timothy Farrell, that's our hero. That's the young kid who's going to step up and do this in the playoff run. Love that. 23 games, 13 points, 6 goals, 7 assists. That's a star in the making. Future star. Donovan Patan actually led the team in goals. Donovan Patan's just like a franchise player. So happy we traded out for him. William Nylander, third on the team in goals. Thank goodness we didn't trade him. Fourth on the team in points. Turcotte, there, fifth. All right. We had a good year, everybody. We had a very good year. But we've reached the moment of truth. We've reached the Stanley Cup playoffs. This is it. I'm not going to touch the lines. You know, a lot of people complained last episode when they saw me touch the lines, the fourth lines. I called up some guys and made some moves, and they were like, no, you can't do that. That screwed up the whole team. That's well, not going to happen this time. I'm not going to touch anything. This is the team that got us here. This is the team we're going to run with. Our goalie, Berglund, is unbelievable. Nicholas Berlin, 923. He bounced back. He started with a 909. He had a crazy second half. Unbelievable. Love that. Um, Hugo, not not too good. Actually, I don't think those were the... I think those are playoff stats, right? Because he played more than 19 games. Let me check their actual stats. Um, let me see. Let me see the goalie situation here. Here's our goalies, how they played this year. 902 for Berglund. Even we had poor goaltending. I'm gonna be honest. Berglund, his first full season as a National Hockey League starter, did not live up to expectations. I'm gonna say it right now. Nicholas Berglund, he's an elite goalie, didn't live up to expectations. It's very unfortunate, but we finished second in the National Hockey League, which we can do with our eyes closed now. It's so easy. We can do it. We do it every time. So this is it. Regular season doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter. Throw it out the window. Throw it out. Throw it out. Shh. Tomato. Just out the window. It's the playoffs. We're playing Tampa Bay. Oh, Almost Yankee says didn't beat the speed run. Yeah, I finished at 105. As, that's actually not bad. For all that we did, I'm, I'm having trouble looking at the new camera. For all that we did, also that, do you guys see that? Oh, that's frozen up there. I'm going to reset that. Um, for all that we did, I'm very proud of us that we got to 104. That was pretty good. For all the time we went to spend in the trade deadline, for all the coach re-signings, 104 is not bad for a speed run. But we're here now. Is the, pred the predictions up of will we win the first round? Thank you, Robert Malloy, our wonderful mod. Thank you. 
on your way out tonight, please pet the mods, tip your waiter, stick tap your goalie. It's important. Our mods are wonderful here. Join our Discord. If you're not a member of our Discord, join our Discord. SDPN.ca. You get the link. So I'm going to wait a little time here so everybody can place their bets on if you think our Toronto Maple Leafs franchise will win our first round matchup versus the, uh, the, the Tampa Bay Lightning. This is the Lightning's roster. The Tampa Bay Lightning have Dominique Kubalik. They have Braden Point. They have Ryan Strom. They have somebody named Jerome Lambert. They got a whole bunch of creative players. Very young team. Wow. This whole line is like 23. They're very similar to us. But we have the experience. They have an 18-year-old Thomas Lundquist. Where was he drafted? 2029, fifth overall. Last season, they, draw, they drafted this kid, and he's their second line. He's their second line center. We have, we have just as much center depth. Don't, don't talk to me about center depth, JCADX. We beat them in the forward, in the winger slots, for sure. Let me check out their defense. Defense here. Sergachev, Rasmus Anderson, bunch of guys. Garbage D. We did this two years ago. Two years ago, we lost to this team. Because of this guy right here, Andre Vasilevsky. That's what I'm blaming that loss on. So, two years ago, we lost to this team in the second round. They also had horrible D then, and they beat us with their horrible D. I hope this is the time when the curse is lifted. And we win a round. It's been a couple of years since we've won a round. <sighs> but let's do it. This is it. Are you guys ready? Let's try and not lose in the first round. That's all I can say. This is it. <sighs> let's hit it. It's a joke, right? They're they're joking. Like the game, the game's joking. The game last episode I said that we were we were dumb. We were idiots for thinking that we'd have a different result and that it was possible for us to win anything at all. And look at us now. Look at us down 0-2 in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. But I'm going to send the third game because I don't even, I don't even have time for this. Carlton, get out here. Carlton, let us know what time it is. That unicorn doesn't know what is going on in this world. That unicorn does not have a thought in its brain. This is awful. This team, it can't do it. The coach is so fired. I don't even know where to start. All right, game three. Everybody ready? Okay, 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 okay. We're down, but we're not out. I mean, uh, Sasha says, do we have any injuries? That's a good question. That would be an excuse, but, you know, we don't. We don't have injuries. We don't have injuries at all. Neither does Tampa. So uh, that eight four loss, I don't know what to do. Maybe that's maybe that's the consequences of having a rookie goalie in the playoffs. But like every year, we have an excuse. You run out of excuses eventually. All right, everybody, ready for game number four? I still got hope that we can do this. This is a good team. We've been good for a long time, almost a decade. Let's go! 
Let's go. Two, two. Let's go. Only one dancing friend has been brought out. I want to bring them all out. Can we win a round, please? Let's go, OT! OT, baby! Okay, no, no, that was too soon. That was too soon. We need one more. We're going to win a round. We're going to win a round, okay? Is everybody, is everybody ready? Hold on, hold on to your butts. Make sure your butts are held. I'm going to hit it. Let's go! Finally! We've done it! We have won a round! Oh, that feels good. That feels good. That feels real good. Finally. It's been only a season since we won one round, but it's been like, I don't know, four years since we've been in the third round. So what's really important is that we win round number two because the goal is to win a Stanley Cup. And in order to win the Stanley Cup, you've got to get past round two. You got to get past round one. You got to get past round three. Oh, Montreal Canadiens. The Canadiens knocked off the Sens, who had a fantastic season. Wow. <sighs> Turcotte recovered. Yeah, it looks like Turcotte was injured. Um, let me take a look. Injury report. No injuries. Okay, so we're good right now. Will we win the second round? Voting is up. Austin Matthews, what do you think of our first round victory? Oh, there he is, Austin Matthews. Hold that pillow up. NBC, thank you. This is now our GIF. We press steal on the GIF button, and now it is ours. Carlton didn't come out in the first round. It's been a while since we didn't have Carlton. A little confetti. A little more confetti. A little air horns. Crab people, as you place your bets on will we win the second round, this is what we are up against. I hope you held off until you could see our opponents. The Nathan McKinnon-led Montreal Canadiens. Oh, they are real tough down the middle. Um, Thomas Hurdle, Connor Levi, Jamison Reese. Um, Caulfield, Papineau. We could have taken Caulfield from them in that trade, but they wanted like a second or whatever. They're really good. They're deep in the forward group. I'll give them that. They are weak on defense. They got Mira Heiskanen, and that's it. Everything else is boo-boo. Uh, that's garbage. Who's their goaltender? Stuart Skinner! We should... Let's, let's go! We should win this. We should win this easily. Let's go. Let's do it. I think we can do it. Easy. Easy clap. No way that Montreal is doing anything to us. Omari Walensky is having a great playoffs. Look at this. Look at these numbers. Uh, playoff stats right now. Two goals, four assists, six points in 60 games. That's, that's great for Walensky, who's become a vet. He's turned to a vet now. He's been playing for the least for a number of years. Look at this run he's had with us. Um, great draft pick by us way back when. Awesome. Awesome. On the lease for so long. Almost good for 20. He's good for 40 points a year on our third line. He's been centering that third line for five seasons now. Love it. Love to see it. Austin Matthews. Three goals. Six games. What do you expect? Matthews. Amazing. All right. Let's go. Montreal Canadiens. Second round. 2030 playoffs. <sighs> once in 67, our quest to win one Stanley Cup with the Toronto Maple Leafs since 1967. We are in year number nine. Let's sim it. 
Sim it and see. First two games are done. We are down 0-2. We've been in this position before. We have them exactly where we want them. This is where we want them. We want them down 0-2. This is what it was the first round. You know? No worries at all. Exactly where we want them. Let's do this. No in oh, they got an injury. Christian Dvorak. Uh, unavailable to play. That's good. No, we don't cheer injuries. We don't cheer injuries at all. We don't. It's bad. It's bad. All right. So we're down 0-2. We know what to do. We know four goals or four, four wins is all it takes. Let's get these four wins. Win number one. But number one didn't happen, okay? So we're going to have to win four in a row. Reverse sweep. I think we got this. We're not going to we're not going to get swept. Let's do this four in a row. Well, that didn't work. That didn't. That wasn't great. Leafs collapsed in the second round. The will we win the second round predictions. The no's pay out. Carlton, you know what to do. Get out here. I'll see you guys on Friday. That is it. We'll see who wins the Stanley Cup. That is it for today. If you like this video, hit like. If you really liked it, hit subscribe. Tell all your friends. The Toronto Maple Leafs can't win the Stanley Cup in NHL 22 because the game does not like us. Did the Marlies win? The Toronto Marlies won back-to-back -back Calder Cups. We won two Calder Cups in a row. Oh, my goodness. No. Keep current ticket prices. I'll see you on Friday where we possibly might move the Toronto Maple Leafs to Saskatoon. Oh, my gosh. The Kraken win the Stanley Cup again. Ah, That's how I'm feeling. Let me check the awards. Everybody look at the awards. Um, I forget what year the Kraken won the cup, but they've won it in one of those years. Didn't even get the President's Trophy. Individual awards. McDavid wins the Art Ross. Hart, McDavid. Adam Fox wins his third Norris in four years. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Besna. Jack Adams. All right. I want I want out. I want out. I want out. I want out of this situation where all we do is lose. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with us today. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Um, on your way out tonight, please stick tap your goalie when they make a great save. Pet the mods and tip the waiter. Uh, thank you. This was a fun stream despite the ending. I'll see you on Friday when we make another run to the playoffs, when we try and win the Stanley Cup once again. Thank you. Good night, crab people. Crab.